Hi guys, uh, I'm Ashley and this is my dog Pippa. She's a French Bulldog. She's two years old. Um, she's very, very stubborn, so she only does what she wants to do whenever she wants to do it. And I just wanted to show you a few ways to um, teach your dog some tricks, even though they're very stubborn. Sometimes she listens, but hopefully she'll listen during this video. <laughs> So um, the best way to get your dog to focus on you and to listen like she is right now is to get really good treats. So um, one of Pippa's favorites are carrots, little baby carrots. I cut them in half and these are one of her favorite snacks. Uh, they're low in calorie, they're healthy for them, so it's a good healthy um, treat, especially if she's very interested in like she is right now. Um, another treat I give her are milk bones, just plain milk bones. This is a, just a little piece of one. Um, I don't get like the flavor, like the peanut butter and bacon and all that. I just get the normal, basic uh, milk bone. And lastly, I bought these Nutro treats. Um, they're little, they're low in calories, so you don't have to worry about overfeeding your dog and getting her fat or him fat. Because um, you, you will be getting lots of treats um, during the training process. Um, these are very teeny. Um, the reason I got these is because I got um, a Furbo for Christmas, and these fit inside of the Furbo, um, and she really likes them, so I thought I would use them in this training process. They're just little teeny, teeny bones. Okay. She clearly likes all of these. So, um, for stubborn dogs, uh, the best thing to do is find treats that they really like. So, something that's really going to engage them. Um, Pippa, for example, she is uh, very expensive when it comes to treats. She will not work for free. She needs to be compensated with good, yummy treats that she likes. And she won't do anything if she doesn't get a treat. So, very, very stubborn and very hard to work with. But anyway, uh, a few tricks I taught her, obviously, to sit, um, to lay down and to roll over. She um, used to roll over a lot when she was little, but she doesn't so much anymore. Especially she's got like a really thick body and she gets stuck on her back when she rolls over and she doesn't like it. She freaks out and gets all weird. So she doesn't really roll over anymore and I don't make her roll over because she's not comfortable with it, which is fine. But anyway, how I taught her to sit is, and she's in the standing position right now, this is when she, how she was when she was a puppy all the time. So in order to um, initiate a sit, I would hold the treat above her head and pull it up. So for me, it's making her head go back, which is making her body, the back of her body, sit down. So when she's in that position, I say sit, and I'll give her the treat. And I did that over and over and over again until she finally um, understood it. But I would do it um, a few times, give her a break, give her five, ten minutes, do it again, give her another break so you're not um, overstimulating her at one point. And it kind of reminds her, like, oh, even now... Um, this period's over, this like five minute period that I was training is over, I still need to listen, I still need to do it ten minutes later. So it kind of gets her to realize whenever I say it, she needs to do it. So, that, down, 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 down. So we're going to, oh, down. So, she got up. We're going to initiate the sit position. Sit, good girl. Good girl, and when she gets the treat, say sit and give her some love. Good job. All right, so next I'll show you uh, the lay down. So once you taught your dog how to sit, they will be in the sitting position. Let's go this way. More room. Okay. Sit. Okay, good. And then you bring it, the treat down to the floor with her head, make forces her head. All the way down until she's laying down. It was good for a second. And she got up. Lay down. Sit. Lay down. Lay down. Good girl. Good girl. She's enjoying this video. I'm going to try it one more time. Right now, I'm just giving her carrots, which is one of her favorites. So we're going to sit. We're going to sit. 
We're going to pull the treat right into her face. So she really wants it, but not give it to her completely. And we're going to bring it all the way down to the floor until she lays down. There you go. Good girl. I'm going to give it to her. Good girl. Um, I can also show you how I told her to roll over. Um, she won't do it in this video. She doesn't really do it anymore, but I can show you how I did it. So, um, she got to start off with the sit. Bring her down into the lay down position. Lay down. Lay down. Sit. Lay down. Oh, she's still eating. Sit. Lay down. Lay down. And then once she's in the lay down position, I would take the treat to the side of her head and um, pull it backwards around. So um, when she was down, laying down, you pull the treat up by her ear to kind of make her head roll over and it kind of forces her body also to roll over. So that's how I taught her how to roll over, but she won't do it anymore, but it's fine. Just kind of big bully bodies and apt to roll over properly. So those are some easy tricks I just taught Pippa for a very stubborn dog. Honestly, the most important thing is to just um, mix up the treats. So if you're going to give your dog just one thing, one flavor, one kind of treat, they'll get bored of it. Especially Pippa, she will get bored of it. She won't care anymore. She won't want to play. She won't want to listen to you. So for her anyway, it's really important to mix it up. So I had the milk bone, I had the carrots, and then I had the little neutral bones. Um, it kind of makes it exciting so she doesn't know what she's going to get each time. Um, so it makes it exciting for her and makes her more prone to listen because the reward is more exciting. So that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, Pippa. Thanks for being a good doggo. Say goodbye to everyone.